everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Early in the month I headed off to Melbourne for five days to hang out with my best friend Tilly from Hello Tilly and while I was there we managed to sneak in a bit of shopping time so I'm going to show you what I bought. So the first shop that I headed to when I was in Melbourne was Dangerfield in Brunswick West. Uh, I absolutely love Dangerfield so much. I love the vibe, the clothes are incredible and the staff are absolutely amazing. Um, I picked up two pieces while I was there, the first being an amazing little striped top. Now I don't really need any striped tops but this one was definitely a little bit different to the rest because it's got a cat on the pocket. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's super soft and I cannot wait to wear this. Um, I love striped t-shirts. I have so many of them. I really don't need any more but when I saw this gorgeous little cat detailing poking out it was something that I just had to get. It was $48 Australian. I picked it up in a size 8. So if you do go on their website or if you go into store, I definitely recommend to size down. There is a lot of room in these t-shirts and they have quite a boxy shape to them. Um, they are so soft as well. It's absolutely incredible and the make is amazing. I cannot floor this top. Like a lot of those I do buy a lot of cheap items of clothing so this is on the more expensive side for me and I cannot fault this at all. I feel like this is going to last me for ages. Now the second item that I did get from Dangerfield was this gorgeous A-line mini skirt. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this but it's actually got a leopard print detail to the fabric. I am so excited for this. Um, it's a gorgeous high waisted piece and um, will look perfect. like with a stripy cat t-shirt tucked in or um, it's going to be awesome for autumn and I can't wait to wear this. Um, I love it. It's such amazing quality. This again was one of Dangerfield's own label. I picked this up for $68. I also picked it up in a size 8. I do tend to find with their clothes that you do need, they do have a lot of stretch to them so I do tend to size down. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. The girl that um, sold this to me had one herself and she is in love with it as well. Pretty much we've got the same outfit. Um, but yeah, I love this. I can't wait to wear this um, and style it up. It's going to be incredible. Now the second shop that I went to was a complete obvious one for me and it was H&M. We don't have H&M in New Zealand just yet. Apparently we're going to be getting it sometime this year. But I couldn't wait because I needed to get a few items from there. Mainly, I needed a new leather skirt. Now this is a beautiful A-line piece. Um, it's extremely flattering. It is a clasp and zip hook back with a beautiful faux zip detailing. Is it faux? Oh, it's actual real pockets. Guys, we've got real pockets. This is incredible then. I didn't even know that. Um, but it's a gorgeous flared A-line, super flattering on the body. It sits high-waisted. It's going to be perfect in the autumn, winter. And I am completely in love with it. It was pretty much the first thing that I picked up. And when I went there, I picked up a lot of things. And this was one of the only things that made it out with me. So I'm so stoked that I got to pick this up. Um, it was, how much was it? Um, $29.95 Australian and it's an amazing quality. I mean obviously it's poly so it's faux leather um, but it's just incredible. I love that it's got a raw hem finish. Um, it's just it's beautiful. I love it. I can't wait to wear it. It's going to be perfect in autumn and winter for those cooler days and it will look awesome for work. I can easily style this up for casual wear or for work wear. So I'm really, really stoked. Now the next item that I picked up from H&M was a leopard print cropped kimono jacket with a beautiful, it's almost like a three quarter length sleeve and fringe detailing. Um, this was in the sale, it's from their divider section and it's the most tackiest thing I own and I'm completely in love with it. Um, it was $7 and when I saw it sitting in the sale, I just had to have it. I couldn't help myself. Um, I just think it's going to be the perfect layering piece for pretty much for winter, autumn, um, for now, um, for when I go to Vietnam in June, it's going to be easy to throw on and just cover my shoulders. I'm in love with it. Um, I can imagine this paired with high waisted jeans, a black singlet, chuck this over the top and a leather jacket and you're all good to go. 
I'm in love. It's so tacky. It's so great. Yeah, I can't wait to style this up. Now the next shop that I went to when I was in Melbourne was kind of the only shop that I really wanted to go to and it was Sephora. I expected myself to go crazy in there but I think I was completely overwhelmed and I didn't know what to get so I only picked up a few things. Uh, the first thing that I did get was the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Now I am so excited to use this. I almost did not get this and went for originally went for the Sephora liner but when I saw this sitting there and there was only like two left, I had to grab it because it, I tested it and it did not smudge at all, no matter how hard I rubbed. It, it's got staying power like no other. Um, yeah, so this was pretty much a must have and I'm so excited that I have it and I can't wait to use it. The next one that I have is a cult, well, I, I don't know if you could call it a cult favourite, but it's definitely a... It's an item that I've had my eye on for a while, primarily because it's like Queen Jaclyn Hill's product and it's the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Highlighter. Oh my god, I am so excited that I have this. Um, it is beautiful. Like, I have, I don't normally wear highlighter and I've only, well, I've only really just gotten into wearing it. Um, I just can't believe this so much. I'm gonna put oh no. it It's gorgeous. I just swatch this for you. Yes, the opening. Look, look how beautiful this is. It's absolutely stunning. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but this makes me so happy. It's so pigmented, so shiny. I'm in love. I can't wait to use this. I'm so glad I finally filmed this video so I can use it. Oh my god, I'm so happy with life. <laughs> now the next item that I did get was when I was waiting in line to pay for my two items that it has. Um, it's the Elizabeth Ann James Rollerball Perfume Nirvana Black Deliciousness. Oh my god, I have never been in love with a rollerball or more things. Rollerballs are great. I don't know why we can't seem to find these in New Zealand just as easily, but Oh my goodness, I am in love. It's just, it's delicious. It's beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous. Um, it smells, I'm so bad with describing smells, so hold on, I'm just going to read this. Violet, sandalwood, and vanilla. That smells like heaven to me, so I'm pretty stoked with life. I, all these products are making me so happy. It's a little bit strange, but yeah, let's roll with it. Um, it's beautiful. It's really gorgeous. It's going to be perfect to throw into my handbag for those days when I've run out of the house at last minute, forgotten perfume, I can chuck this on and I'm ready to go, or at the end of the day and I'm heading out after work, I can chuck this on and I can feel as fresh as a daisy. So yeah, I actually am contemplating getting the full size bottle of this because it smells absolutely divine. Actually, I did get something before I did head up to the counter, and it's the Sephora Daily Makeup Cleanser. And I'm pretty... I don't even know why I got this, actually. I think it was like, I must get a Sephora product so I can sit there on my little makeup table desk thing and look awesome. Um, yeah. I actually did need a new makeup brush cleanser, so... I'm stoked with this and I'm going to give this a try out tonight and I'll let you know how it goes. Now the next item that I did get is another Becca product and it was also while I was waiting in line for the checkout and I only originally got this, well I only picked it up because I wanted to know what the price was because I didn't have it on the little containery thing, um, but it is the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in Moonstone. Now I've heard amazing things about this and I've always wanted to try these sort of skin perfector products because I started getting really into sort of a glowy fresh kind of look so I've heard amazing things about this and mixing it in with the foundation um, I, picked it, I don't know if I've said before but I picked it up in Moonstone which it's a beautiful light thing you're not going to be able to see this but it's awesome I'm in love with this I'm in love with everything obviously now the last two places that I went to are two stores that I always go to when I'm in Australia 
and they are Priceline and Chemist Warehouse. Holy shit, I love them so much. I get all my favorite products for a fraction of what I would pay for in New Zealand. So the first two things I did get up are a product that I've been wanting to try for so long, but it's so expensive in New Zealand that I haven't been able to justify getting it. And they are the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation and Primer. I almost forgot what they were just then. Um, I picked up the foundation in vanilla and the primer because I really need a new primer and this looked insane. Tried them out, fell in love. Rest in peace me, forever, I love you, L'Oreal. Yeah, I cannot wait to use this every day. And I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to justify spending the full amount in New Zealand because I know I'm going to fall in love with them so much. Um, yeah, I can't wait to try them. They're absolutely beautiful when I tested. Yeah, I, hell yeah. <laughs> now, the next item that I did get was a, well, the next two items I got were new products by Rimmel. And the first one that I did get was the Rimmel Clear Complexion Clarifying Powder. Holy shit, this looks so good. I am a massive fan of the Stay Matte Translucent Powder. And when I saw this, I was pretty stoked with life. But this looks absolutely gorgeous. It's a clarifying powder with natural minerals and... I'll, I'll read you the back, shall I? Um, pure and shine free finish for up to five hours. Clarifies skin thanks to pure skin complex known to minimize skin breakouts. It controls shine. Controls shine and mattifies the skin and it's been dermatologically tested. So this looks awesome. I cannot wait to use it. I got this in transparent and they also do a whole bunch of different shades like they do with the stain matte powder. Hells yeah, this is awesome. Cannot wait to use. Now the next new product from Rimmel that I picked up was the Rimmel Fix and Perfect SPF 25 Makeup Primer. Now this is supposed to be awesome. What I have found I started using this and it's quite liquidy and it does actually keep my it does keep my foundation in place I do find compared to the previous primer that I was using. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually quite liquidy. Like it's very, I don't, know if you, I don't know if you can see that, but it's very thin and you don't need a lot of it to cover your whole face which is fantastic. I love it and it feels like weight and it's not sticky and it's not going to hold you down or anything like that. It's, it's really nice. I love it already. These masks were obviously going to happen so I picked up the Formula 10006 and um, what's this one? Deep Detox Down Ultra Cleansing Mud Mask Orange and Bergamot and the No Time to Shine Oil Absorbing Mud Mask Sea Kelp and oh I can't say that. Calendula. Calendula? Calendula. Sounds interesting. Um, I just picked these up in a small thing because obviously I cannot commit to a full bottle. I have a ton of masks sitting around so anything that comes with a little tester, awesomeness, I'm all down for so obviously it had to happen. Now the next item I did get was a steel and it's something that's from my, my teenage years that I remember sniffing in farmers and I just really wanted it and I ended up getting a a knockoff of it which wasn't as good obviously but what I did get was the Love Kills Slowly by Ed Hardy perfume. Holy shit this is awesome. It smells incredible, it's fresh and light and a bit floridly with hints of vanilla and I'm in love with it. Like this is my teenage years pretty much. I used to draw and um, sort of Ed Hardy S traditional tattoo designs on my school books and yeah when I remember when I saw this come out for the first time I really wanted it but being a broke high schooler whose parents would not buy her perfume thanks mum and dad for teaching me the value of money I didn't get it so I got a really cheap one this was $200 but it was marked down to 20 bucks which is insane Absolutely insane. So, whoop, whoop, I'm excited. It smells so good. The next product that I did pick up is one of my favorite products and I already use it, but we don't have this shade in New Zealand and it's the Maybelline Brow Drama in Transparent. Now, I use this in medium brown and I do find it gives a bit of color payoff on my brows. So, 
I, I don't really need that because my brows are quite thick and dark already. Um, so I'm going to try out the transparent, see how that goes. I really only need it to keep my brows in place because they go wild. Um, so I'm excited to use this, cannot wait. Now the next product that I did pick up is something that I've seen heaps of YouTubers use before and absolutely love it and it's, and it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I picked this up in 110 Fair and I can't wait to use this. I've heard amazing things about it. I'm sure that you've heard amazing things about it. And yeah, I don't know why we can't get this in New Zealand. I have searched high and low for this and it's just something we don't have. It's really bizarre. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to use this. I might do maybe like a base tutorial or something, how I get my base, um, which you've probably seen a hundred of other people put foundation on before. But yeah, I can't wait to use this. I'll let you know how it goes. Now the next two products I did pick up were for when I eventually do bleach my hair out again, and it's the Schwarzkopf Lye Pastels in Lilac Blush, and then I also picked up the Silver Toner. I cannot wait to try these out. I miss having coloured hair so much and I've always wanted to do purple so I'm going to give this a go. I'll let you know how it goes. I, I love this brand so much. They last so long in my hair and you don't even need that much of it. And they're so cheap. You can pick these up in New Zealand for $8.99, $9.99 depending where you go. Um, in Australia I think they're about $3.99, $4.99. If you want to try out coloured hair, definitely go for these. You won't regret it unless it stains, but then it's hair, you can change it pretty quickly. And finally, the last product that I did pick up, I believe this is the last product I did pick up, and it's the Asano Rose Hip Under Eye Cream. Alright, we have this in New Zealand, but I can never find the eye cream anywhere. I've been wanting to, I, well, I've been wanting to try it, I've been really needing a new eye cream, and when I saw this, it was so cheap, I had to have it. Um, it's supposed to, it's scientifically, scientifically formulated to restore my youthful glow, soften and soothe wrinkles, and visibly lift skin and even out skin tone. I don't really need an eye cream, but I do want to start taking care of that area so when I'm 65, I'm not going to be Georgina regretting not using eye cream as a 25 year old. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to try this out. I'll let you know how it goes, my first impressions on it. And yeah. So there we have it, my Melbourne haul. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos. And let me know in the comments below what are some new products that you've been enjoying. I'd really love to hear that. We'll see you next time. Bye. I picked this up from ASOS. I think this here was like a doctor's bag. It's got a really nice um, snake mock crop skin finish and I absolutely love it. If it's still available I'll link it down below so you can go have a no 